Hello there, Libra. Thank you for stopping by for your video tarot forecast for the week of June 1st through the 7th. I am using the Russian tarot of St. Petersburg once again. And what we have coming up for you Monday, Libra, is we have the world in reverse. And let's see, what does this mean for you, the world in reverse? <laughs> Okay, so the world in reverse, the world really talks to me about um, dreams coming true. And so when it comes up in reverse, what I'm actually feeling off of this card today is a little bit different than the normal message that comes in when the world comes up reverse. But what I'm feeling like is that um, some of the dreams and the goals that you've actually been reaching towards or working on lately, they are starting to manifest on Monday. But... They're coming in a little bit backwards. They're kind of coming in the cart before the horse. So it's going to take a little bit of patience and maybe a little bit of kind of working things around a little bit just to get this to come in uh, and to actually be usable the way that you would like it to be usable. So, um, yeah, dreams starting to manifest on Monday, but maybe not exactly the way you expected them. So, you know, a little bit of tweaking and fine-tuning that has to go on <laughs> so that these will come in exactly the way that you want them. Now let's see Libra for Tuesday. What you have coming up is you have the Six of Clubs in reverse. Six of Clubs in reverse just tells me that you're working on a project and that this project not only benefits you, but when it's complete, it will also benefit other people in your sphere of influence. So this can be benefiting your neighbors. This can be benefiting um, people that are in the middle, in the same organization to you. This can be benefiting people at work. Um, I do feel like you are working on this project and spending a significant amount of time on it on Tuesday. I don't feel like it's going to be completed on Tuesday. Um, that's not to say that it won't be completed at some point in time. It will, but just not yet. And when it does, um, when you do have this project completed, you are going to be hearing um, expressions of appreciation from some of the other people who this project benefits. Okay? So that is your Tuesday Libras. Now Wednesday, what we have showing up is we have the Three of Cups for you, and this is a really nice card to have, Libra. This is just showing that on Wednesday you're going to be having some really enjoyable time with a friend or some friends. Now, I've seen this manifest as getting an email from an old friend that was out of touch or some kind of communication from them. I've also seen this manifest as text conversations or phone conversations, maybe even Skype conversations. Um, but also this can manifest in FaceTime. And I'm feeling like for most of you Libras, we're talking about hanging out with friends in person, laughing, joking, kind of remembering some old things, kind of dreaming about um, some things you guys would like to do together in the future, that type of thing, and just really enjoying your time together on Wednesday. Now Thursday, we have an interesting card come up for you guys. This is the Eight of Swords. And when the Eight of Swords comes up, what this is really telling me is that we have a situation on Thursday where, hmm, what's the best way for me to say this? Basically, you're going to be feeling very limited and boxed in. But the thing is that those limitations are actually only created by your own mind. You're not really limited or boxed in when you're looking at the reality of things, but you're having a hard time seeing the reality of things. You want to see if you can, and if you have a situation on Thursday where you're feeling boxed in, you want to see if you can kind of shift the perspective a little bit, because if you can shift that perspective a little bit, you'll be able to see where you're actually limiting yourself as opposed to anybody else limiting you, and then you can figure out how to walk out of that situation for yourself. Okay, so that was Thursday. I know I said Wednesday, didn't I? I apologize, but that was Thursday. And then Friday, what we have showing up is we have the Six of Coins in reverse. Now, the Six of Coins in reverse is just telling me that on Friday, somebody is going to be coming to you and asking for help. Now, this could be financial help. This could be somebody asking you for a loan. This could also be somebody asking you, um, maybe, can you give them a ride to the airport? This could be somebody asking you for help, maybe bringing snacks to a get-together. This can be any number of things. It does not have to be financial. But on Friday, somebody is coming to you asking for help. You get to decide, are you going to be uh, kind, generous, gracious, and help them? Or, um, you know, are you going to 
not help them. And um, it's interesting because sometimes when we have somebody that asks us for help, it's better for us to say no. And we have kind of a stigma, especially for females in our culture, about saying, no, well, that means you're unfriendly. That means you're unhelpful. That means you're this. That means you're that. But sometimes, honestly, the bottom line is we have to take care of ourselves. And if we don't have enough time or enough resources or enough energy to put into doing whatever this request is, then the best thing that we can do at that point is just explain to the person, hey, I'm just not in a situation to do this for you, but I wish you the best of luck with your endeavor. Um, sometimes people don't really know what to think about that, <laughs> but they have to get over it. <laughs> That's just the thing. So I'm not saying that all of you are going to say no. Uh, I am feeling like a lot of you definitely are going to say yes to whatever this request is, and that's fine. That's no problem. You have the resources and the energy to do it, and it's fun for you. Um, but for um, some of you, I'm just I'm feeling some of you saying yes that really, um, really you don't have the energy or the resources, and you're feeling a little bit over frazzled already. And this is just one more thing. And so I'm just encouraging you, <coughs> excuse me, that sometimes taking care of yourself is the most important thing. Sometimes you have to have that as the priority. And so um, none of us should feel bad if, if that's our priority and that priority puts in us in a position where we have to tell somebody that they need to find somebody else to fulfill a certain role for them. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so getting off my soapbox. On Saturday... Libras, we see the Queen of Swords showing up in your spread on Saturday. I need a drink because I can't get rid of the scratchiness in my throat. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so Queen of Swords showing up on Saturday. For some of us, this feels like this could be you actually on Saturday. Queen of Swords is somebody, but not all of you, by the way. Some of you, this is going to be you, and some of you, I'm going to be describing somebody that shows up in your life on Saturday. Queen of Swords, to me, whenever I look at the Queen of Swords, I feel like she's somebody who carries a heavy weight. A lot of times that weight is sadness or depression. Um, many times the Queen of Swords um, will come up for somebody in a reading who has lost a significant other or a partner, or maybe they've lost a child, but they've had this, this great grief in their life, and a lot of times they're still not completely recovered from that. So that could be you actually showing up on Saturday or it could be somebody else that you're running into um, on Saturday. Either way, what I'm hearing is nurturing is what's needed. So if you're running into somebody else like this, then you want to try and figure out a way to take the time and to help them to feel nurtured and maybe help them also give some ideas to them about how they can nurture themselves as well. Now I'm not saying tell them how to take care of themselves and push them off. <laughs> this person feels like she needs a little more attention than that. She really needs somebody um, to kind of help bolster her up. Um, and then if it's you, obviously you want to do some things to nurture yourself. One of the best things that you can do to help relieve stress and negativity is you can take a nice long soak in an Epsom salt bath. I like to take it in an Epsom salt bath and put in like half a cup of baking soda as well because baking soda is also just has wonderful um, cleansing properties and all of this stuff spiritually just draws all of the negative out of you. And then if you happen to have some essential lavender oil around, you can put a little bit of lavender oil, just a few drops in the bath. Lavender oil is known to bring comfort. So that's kind of adding aromatherapy to the whole bath slash soak thing. Um, so this is just one idea about nurturing yourself, you know, taking the time to do that type of thing for yourself. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go on to Sunday. Sunday what I have showing up is I have the Five of Coins in Reverse. Five of Coins in Reverse is actually a good card. It's talking about your budget, and what it's telling me is that um, something has happened so that your budget is stretching a little further than it used to. So maybe uh, you make the final payment on your car and now you have all this money that you were setting aside every payday to go towards the car payment. Well now you don't have to put it towards the car payment anymore. So that's a nice thing. Um, that would be a perfect example of a five of coins in reverse where your budget is going farther than it used to. So you know maybe you're getting something paid off. 
Um, or maybe, you know, there's something that just you just had it for a certain amount of time and now that's done. But anyway, whatever is going on is you're finding yourself that you have a little bit of extra money hanging around. So it's kind of a good, 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 good thing. Nice to be able to have some extra breathing room. Okay, so Libras, that is your forecast. For those of you who would like to schedule a private session with me, I am offering some new services, so you want to check out my website. I'm at amista.info, A-M-I-S-T-A dot I-N-F-O. Once you've poked around there, if you still feel like I'm the best person for you to work with, then go ahead and contact me, and we will schedule a session for you as quickly as possible. And for everybody else, everyone have a great day. Peace out.